The web's getting a serious upgrade. The US government is selling bitcoins and the girlfriend body pillow? I'm John P. And this is awkward. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. HTTP, you've heard of it. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the language of the World Wide Web. Well, actually, that's HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Although it's not really a language so much as an SGML, but standardized generalized markup languages aren't really languages either since they merely define the characteristics of the text they surround. But I digress badly. Point is, HTTP has been around for like decades, and although the web has changed, the way we connect to it hasn't until now. The newly updated HTTP 2 protocol is finished, and we should begin to see it adopted pretty soon. HTTP 2 basically defines how your computer's web browser, like Chrome or Safari, communicates with servers on the internet. And it's getting some upgrades. First of all, our computers are going to start speaking in binary as opposed to human readable text. That'll give them the same speed advantage that Terminator has over his human prey. HTTP 2 is also fully multiplexed. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you try and load a web page and just nothing happens, but you refresh the browser and bang, the page appears? Yeah, that probably happened because HTTP sends out a request and waits for it to come back before anything else can happen. If it doesn't come back, everything waits. But HTTP 2 doesn't have this limitation. It's like a super highway with infinite lanes. Lots of data can come and go at the same time and even change lanes. That's right, it drives like I do. Lots of other goodies coming with the update. Header compression will speed up the responsiveness of web pages probably by about 500 to 1,000 percent. And servers will also be able to push responses proactively into client caches as opposed to having to wait for requests to send data. Bottom line, everything is about to get a whole lot faster. Speaking of faster, over in the UK, two banks are now allowing customers to access accounts on smartphones using fingerprint recognition. RBS and NatWest customers can activate a new feature using Apple's Touch ID that will let them access some of the data on their phone app. After three failed login attempts, customers have to re-enter their actual passcodes and for the ultra security conscious, don't worry, you still have to enter a passcode to do things like actually transfer money. Not to be left behind, Samsung recently purchased payment company Loop Pay for an undisclosed sum. The rumor is that there might be some announcements at Samsung's Unpacked event in Barcelona in a few weeks. So stay tuned to find out if there's going to be any Android competition for the Apple Pay service. And while we're on the topic of payment options, right now, the US Marshal Service is auctioning off 50,000 bitcoins. That's about $11.75 million worth seized from Ross William Albright basically for selling drugs on Silk Road service he set up. Anyway, if you've got a hundred grand laying around to wire over to the US government as a refundable deposit, you can bid on the Bitcoins in batches of 2,000. Or with a $150,000 deposit, you can bid on one of the 10 blocks of 3,000 Bitcoins. I'd bid on some, but there's probably some crazy billionaires that are gonna snatch them all up for nearly what it's worth on the open market. <laughs> it's probably a better idea to start your own website, get lots of traffic, and get rich that way instead of bidding on government bitcoins. So maybe you could head over to domain.com and use coupon code GEEKBEAT and register a cool name and even get some web hosting for 20% off. 
I checked and bonkers for Bitcoin is available. But if you register it and make a, bit, a lot of Bitcoins, <laughs> just remember who gave you the hookup. I'll take an invitation to one of your wildandcrazyparties.com. And yes, that's also available. As long as you spell it with E-E-Z on the end. Or you could pick up one of a growing list of 200 plus domain name extensions like .space, .nyc, .xyz, and .club. And yes, domain.com has them all and with 20% off for coupon code GeekBeat. So when you think of domain names, think of domain.com. Now, has it been a little cold where you live? Are you wishing you had someone to snuggle up with? Never fear, because now you can get hold of your very own girlfriend slash boyfriend pillow, depending on your preferences. I don't care. Heck, you can get one of each if that's what you're into. The pillows are available on Amazon.com, and instead of a pillowcase, just put a t-shirt on it. Just don't get carried away and put a ring on it. Oh, and one last thing. Looks like I'll be going to Barcelona next week for Mobile World Congress and some other super secret stuff. Maybe having to do with that whole Samsung story I talked about earlier. Callie had a conflict, so I'll be hanging with Amber Mack while Callie and the team hold down the fort here at GeekBeat. If you're in Spain or gonna be there, tweet me or something, let me know. Maybe we'll do a meetup. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm John P. Stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. So one thing most people do not know is traditionally a beard does not include the mustache. So basically the Amish and some hipsters are doing it right. That so. Apple's going down because Steve Jobs died clearly doesn't know what they're talking about. So it's the, it's the stickiness and the stickiness touching each other. You have to be very, very careful.